my God. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, you guys already see him here. We're super excited because Gwen, Gwen Nation Barnes is in the building. Hey, everybody. Hey, 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 hey. As well, we have the beautiful, just like Gwen, Nunu Thurman. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being on the show today. Oh, man. Oh, thank you for having us. Exactly. Yeah, thank thank you. you. We appreciate yeah. it. We love the vibe. The energy we really is do. The energy is insane in here. here. I love it. Yeah. Well, we were super excited about you guys coming in because not only are you guys phenomenal artists, you're phenomenal thank actresses, you. but you guys have been doing this for quite a while now. And so, of course, everybody was excited when they saw that you were coming. We put out the advertisement just 24 <laughs> hours ago. People were like, oh, my gosh. They're talking about how beautiful your pictures oh, were. And so goodness. we're honored. We're honored to have you here. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you again. Yay. So let's start with you, Gwen. Oh, the hot seat. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, Gwen, you, you got to know, especially in the gospel arena, no <clears> one can <throat> forget you as uh, one of the most notable voices in uh, present. Ah, yes. And so, uh, you know, one thing everybody wanted to know is, oh, my gosh, presence was such a hot group. <laughs> oh, these ladies were phenomenal. Oh, we loved you guys. Oh, wow. And then... We didn't get any more albums. Oh, so Yes, and in presence, what happened? What happened? Right? Everybody okay. wants to know what happened. Presence, presence, yes. I, I, I must say that I was a part of, and it's a, it's a, it's a notable part of my, my own personal life history. Uh, I was in a group with these two beautiful women, uh, Leah Plummer and Debbie Spencer. Debbie is my blood sister. Leah is my sister through life. She's my life sister, as I like to call her. And uh, we were kids. And we were kids, you know, at Bailey's Cathedral trying to chase behind everybody. Oh, yeah. and just, we're just trying to sing. Just give me a microphone, please, yeah. and a stage so I can sing. And so we were together, and we we did. We were uh, we were a group for a long time before being signed to a major label. And uh, Vicky Winers got uh, wind to us via, I think we, it was Mike Winers and Coconut Winers we were friends with for a long time. We were doing, like, referencing work with them. And Vicky came up, and we were, <laughs> funny story, we were signed to Coke. Uh, we were signed to Coke up first and Vicky Winans heard us and bought us out of our contract with her son and was wow. like I gotta have those girls and so then we signed to her Destiny Joy Records was the label at yeah. that time yeah and it was under Tommy Boy Records which was in existence at that time but anywho uh, we are still friends let me say that before I tell the story yeah. of why we ended but we ended for a couple of reasons um, your, your notable reasons of girl group stuff you know where you just life started to happen in our uh, we, we began to not just have presence identity, but it was our separate identities. Gwen was becoming a woman, Leah yeah. was becoming a woman, and Debbie was becoming a woman, and, and we started to go down different veins. I had fallen in love with my husband, with my then, well, soon to be husband at that time. Because Gwen's single, honey. Good and divorced and good and single right now. Ah, but, uh, ah. Praise ye the Lord. Um, and so me and then Leah, you know, was going through, she was about to go through numptuals and but I was I I was pregnant with my daughter. Yeah. I was pregnant with my daughter. And I got pregnant with my daughter. And at that time, y'all, life was changed. I was in love. And it was for me, it was my first time being in love. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought that I had fallen in love with Prince Charming. But you know. <laughs> I did. I thought that I had fallen in love with my Prince Charming. And so I began to look at life differently and I started to write music and I was writing love songs and I wanted to do those type of songs. And so anyway, you know, I was I was pregnant in that. Come on, y'all. Let's you know, I love this show because we keep it 100 on this show. You guys keep it so real. And I love that. You know, we were in a gospel group, three girls and I got pregnant. Do the math. OK, so we were no longer on the label. We were no longer on the wow. label. Now, we were still together as a group, but we were no longer on the label. Do the math. You can read in between the lines between that. You know, but I'm very honest. I'm very secure in myself. And so I'm very honest about my truth because I believe your truth shall set someone free, set me free already. And I set, set you free for somebody out there that's watching the show right now and says, you know what? My life right now is kind of, I don't know, you know, I made some mistakes. I made, you know, some, some I took a left turn when I should have, when I took a right. But God is good, and I'm standing here stronger than I than I ever have been. So, you know, we were a group still after, and then that's when we began to be women. And it was like, you know what, y'all? 
I still want to love y'all. I still want to like y'all after this. So let's just, like, we're not going to be together as a group and we're still going to be friends. And so much so that even yesterday at my sister's wedding, we sang together at my sister's wedding. Wow. And we do that from time to time. You know, people request us. And, um, you know, as long as none of us, as long as all of us are available, we do it. And wow. you guys, there is nothing like singing with people you love. Yeah, yeah. I don't care what I do, what yeah. records I, you know, I'm able to feature on, write on, do production on. When I sing with Leah and Debbie, it's something special. Yeah. So, and I'm gonna leave it at that because it's gonna be something special. And we, you know, we always toy about getting back together and doing something. But I'm gonna leave it there. But I love those girls. We are still friends. We still, you know, talk on the phone. We still cackle and fight like sisters. And I will always love them. So yeah. So That's when perfect. you guys sing together, is the harmony still tight? You... What? Let me tell you something. You talk about jumping back and forth into harmony. Yes, because that's wow. what, that was like our thing. You know, when you're getting your niche as yeah. singers. Um, you know, the, some some groups are known for the runs. Some groups yeah. are known for, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, their look. We were just known for our harmonies. Oh, yeah. And that was just something honest that we just have. And, you know, and it was always weird harmonies. And it was, it's only three of us, but you would think it's like six people singing. Cause, yeah. And, and yeah, it, we still jump right into it. It's a blessing from God it is. Wow. It and is. of course, Gwen, we just, we got to ask you if you would sing just a verse for us. Lord in my hoarseness. Um, <laughs> but we used to, we used to sing a song, uh, True Worshipper. And uh, <clears throat> the chorus went, um, um, I'm looking for a true worshiper. I'm looking for a true worshiper. It's not about, no, what, what was it? You done got me. Uh, I know, right? Wait. Not about the way um, that da, 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 da. But when it com comes to a true worship, I'm talking about a true worship. <laughs> I forgot the words. And I'm hoarse. But God is still good. <laughs> oh, uh, he's still good. Cause I'm so hoarse, right? Ooh, Hallelujah, Jesus. Exactly. I'm yeah. so hoarse. Yeah. Yeah, man, the God. <laughs> and, you know, and that, and I'm going to tell you, that's what I remember. I can always, we could always count on you to give us those runs. Oh, and, yeah. Oh, yes. And, but you, they were always so subtle. Because when um, you hit them, it was like, woo. <laughs> like, all right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and, and I feel like I'm doing you a disservice today with me being a horse. But I'll do yeah, anything oh, for you, Ron. You know oh, I love yeah, you. Yeah, you know so it. You around and <laughs> you. No, I got you. Singing like that. Oh. So we're going to come back to you in a minute because we got to yes. talk about a current project that you're working on. Yes, but we yes. want to switch gears and talk to Miss Nunu. No. Hey. First of all, can I tell you how much I love your name? Do you? I love it. Okay. And I'm curious if it has any background or anything that goes with it. It was just a childhood nickname that okay. stuck with me. Yeah. So um, my real name is Courtney with the K, okay. but it it just stuck with me. And I love it. Thank you. You know why I love it because I feel like it's so relatable. Everybody, <laughs> it's just like everybody's family has a cookie. It's like everybody has a nickname called Nunu. They do. That's yes, honest. My daughter's nickname is Nunu. Taylor. I can see um, people call her, telling me like, Nunu. "Oh, we call so and so in my family Nunu," and I'm like, oh, "Yeah." It is. It's almost like a branding tactic because everybody wants people to feel incorporated with them, and so it's like, "Hey, Nunu, and this is my girl." You don't that's even know, but right. you just feel that's like a, that's a great way of putting that. Yeah. yeah, that's a great way of putting that. So I need you to take us back down memory lane because okay. you're not new to the industry. You've been working a long time. Of course, everybody uh, loves what you do on Hot, but we want to take some of the listeners back who may not be as familiar and tell us about where you got your start. Um, well, I got my start uh, at Star Factory. I started in a girl group mm -hmm. uh, called Boy, and um, we, we were together and from there, you know, unfortunately, we, did, we didn't stay together, but afterwards, I just decided to push my solo career, just get, dibble and dabble into the acting, and um, outside of being a recording artist, and um, uh, the radio, and just a, a bunch of other stuff. So that's, to answer your question, where I started from, it was Star Factory. And, and we got a shout out Brandon group. Smith. Yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Amazing. Yes. You know, Brandon was just on the show. 
Not last week, but the week before. Yeah, what? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay. He's just one of my favorite. My people sister in the world. does engineering over there now. Really? Oh, yes. Okay. Debbie, she does the one that was awesome. in presence. Yes. Oh my yes. gosh. That so is we awesome. love yes. this yes. world. Yes. Yes. So that's all, you know what? And so tell me, why do you think? Or I asked Brandon the same question. Who do you think would be a prime candidate to go to Star Factory? Prime candidate. Oh God, that's a good question. Do you have anybody in mind? Well, not a just person, type of but person. just what type of person? Oh, what type of person? Someone that's looking for development. Okay. That's what Star Factory is. It's artist development. And, I mean, Squeeze does a tremendous job mm -hmm. of just turning people into better artists. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, making them better. Um, you have vocal training. You have stage presence. Mm -hmm. You have media training. You mm -hmm. You know, if this is something that you really want to do, if you really want to get into this industry, it, that type of person needs to go to Star Factory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what what do you think that Star Factory, what did it do for you going in as someone <coughs> with the potential then leaving out graduating from the program? It helped me. It helped build my confidence with it. You mm. know? And it, it helped me get out because I'm really a shy person. Until you like get to know me, yeah. But um, going to Star Factory got me out of that shell to where it's like I'm, I'm a little bit more outgoing. I'm a little bit more confident. So that's what it did for me. Yeah. Now Melvin in Taylor, Michigan, said that he saw your picture on the advertisement and wants to know do you do professional modeling? I don't do professional modeling. I mean, you know, I'll totally model. Totally no. Are you serious? Uh? No, I, I don't. Girl, you are drop dead gorgeous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Girl, please. No, and your I pictures don't. are just like thank breathtaking. You. Yeah, they are. I really appreciate that, y'all. I do. But no, I don't. Um, I'll do modeling, you know, here and there. But professionally, no. I, that's something that I don't do. No reason in particular why, but oh, okay. yeah. So now, um, we're going to talk about another project with you and Gwen in just okay. a minute. Yeah. But of course, because you're an artist, we want to know if you could just sing a little something for her. I'm so sleepy. Oh. I really, you, you can hear me too. So you just know a little I bit. Just I, a little something. Please. He's not going to let it go. Just uh, you see me? Can we just super try hard. at the end, at least, because like, you know how stuffy I am. Yeah. yeah. I'm really, really, really stuffy. You are. So we. I won't I won't bug you. Yeah, don't do that. Look at his face. Stuffy. He's so hurt. Cause you listen, cause Ron you know. careth not. He no, careth not. I'm gonna tell you what, because you know we were trained. Listen, stuffy, cold, <laughs> sick. You gonna sing, and you go, and nobody will know until after you walking. Like, uh, hit that mic, you better wear it out. You better, you better do what? do what you can. Do make right. it work. <laughs> make up words. Do something yeah. right. Already. Singing baritone. It's too oh, funny. Lord. No, but again, we're so thankful that you guys are here. But you both working on a phenomenal project. That was written by Joe Smith. It's yes. a great stage play called She's the Boss. Yes. yes. Tell Yay. us about that show, Gwen. You know what? This show, first of all, shout out to Joe Smith. Yes, big we, shout out we to did a um it's really where we connected. We did another one of his plays called Guiding Girls, Girls years ago. Yeah. And it Joe Smith just has an ability to take a story and just really open your eyes to um to just what that what that really means. The premise of this play is she okay so she's the boss you see a transition between two women mm -hmm. and their household and it's, it's she and i and we're the core core players in this in this in particular yeah. production you see where the men were the financial breadwinners uh of the families and through different life changes we as the women are now the financial breadwinners and you see the dynamic of how we handle it uh and how the men handle it you know because that's a that's a very prevalent conversation yeah. that goes yes. on in homes yes. you know and, and it, ch it changes dynamics in homes and some people you know can't salvage marriages after that yeah. you know because of pride insecurities you know whatever that is and so you, we, we do Joe had the ability to really tap into and he gets really sensitive he brings some stuff yeah. out you know where it's, it's definitely definitely going to be a conversation piece when people leave this play they're going to talk about if they have not dealt with it themselves they know someone, they know someone. Or they'll say, if it was me, uh -huh. I would. I yep. Yes. Wow. So tell me, tell me how was what was it like to? I've worked with Joe on the shout out to get again to Joe. Smith. Yes. Yes. I yes. worked with Joe on the production side, where okay. it was like writing and singing background and things like that. Okay. And I know what kind of guy, because I know you watching. I know what kind of joker he can be <laughs> on that side. Are you speaking of the, the, the 
Perfectionist. From the table. Yeah, I'm oh. the one that doesn't like a mistake. Yeah. The one that won't allow a mistake if a mistake is made. That that Joe Smith. <laughs> that Joe Millionaire Smith, the ball oh. head one. Light skin, oh, plays keys. I love it. When I work with all the time. Soul Food Entertainment. Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, that's yes. you. I love it. Yeah. So <laughs> tell me, is there a difference? In the in the production side, is he a little more sensitive? What what is that side of Joe like? I would say that he is absolutely still a perfectionist. Absolutely. Because Joe, um, and he always says, sometimes as actors and actresses, we um, every director and playwright is different. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some people will allow you to look at a script and you can just kind of have that as a base foundation. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you go, you know, you're like, okay, it says this, but I'm going to say it in my own right. way. Not that good Joe Smith. <laughs> we had, listen here, we had some rehearsals where some of us, including myself, had just, you know, took it as a foundational piece. And, and then we went on. And in the middle, Joe said, listen, I, in a very nice way, you know, he's, he's such a kind man. Oh, yes. yes, yes. But he said, listen, when I wrote this, <laughs> I wrote this specifically for reasons. You know, these words have cues. Uh, related to them, yes, uh, and and there there's a certain mess. God gives him this in his spirit for real, and you mm. know Joe really wants people to be healed from this. Mm. So there are certain things that we do need mm. to say. So I would say he's a perfectionist, but I would say he's a perfectionist with reason when it comes to that portion of it. But girl, yes, he is still a perfectionist nonetheless. Oh. <laughs> he's good at what he you does. No, I, I don't think he takes that away from him. And Joe, Joe has in any production is Joe. He's yeah. he's amazing, and in anything yeah. that he does, he, again, he does not. He does not um, lack in the professional yeah. or perfection yeah. part of, of who he is. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, in your characters, do you guys, do you, do you ladies, I, now Gwen, I know your story. Cause we're of friends. course, we're friends. Yeah. So, and um, um, do you think that you can relate to this in some areas if mm. you're looking back? You know well, what I mean? I'll like, because I love your character. Mm -hmm. I'll let like, you answer do you that all first. do you all think that you can relate to the character in past relationships, in mm -hmm. relationships now? You know, or is it just a character that um, you portray and mm -hmm. then probably take some wisdom notes and put them in the back of your head okay. for future relationships? So how how would you? Definitely a, a character that I portray, but I take notes. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. I've never been married. I'm, I'm young <laughs> still. Mm -hmm. I don't have any children. Okay. And, you know, so that, I can't relate to, mm -hmm. to that okay. situation. But I, I'm taking every, like, every, everything that, that, that I, I'm portraying, mm -hmm. excuse me, I am taking mental note of it, sure. you know. And I think every woman seeing my character, they're, they're going to be on the edge of their seat, like, okay. Uh, mine will probably be the most mm -hmm. controversial when it comes to, um, yeah. yeah like, so how did you find, in, so in your case, I have a final question, how did you find, um, how did you find the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, the push or the, um, the something to allow you to relate to her? Mm. Because if, you know, for some people, you know, it's hard to get into a character sure. if they cannot yeah. some type of way yeah. relate to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how, how were you able to, what did you have to do to really find this character and relate to her? Mm -hmm. To be honest, um, I love acting so much. I just make myself, I, I study the character and I just make myself mm -hmm. get into character. I don't really know how to answer that any other way. Because that's the truth. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, that's I good. just make myself be that character. So. Mm -hmm. Now, do you guys find? Because I know for me, with uh, certain characters, like let's say if I have to play an alcoholic, I'll kind of study alcohol. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do, yeah. do yes. you guys do the same? Absolutely. Thing? Absolutely. I find yeah. It to be really yeah. Absolutely. Helpful. Absolutely. It's it's very helpful. You know, with like everything, you have to do your homework. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, you do. And, uh, practice makes perfect. So, absolutely, I definitely tap into mm -hmm. with my character in here. I I can relate to. 
her. Um, she is, without giving the play away, because I'm trying to be really, really know, safe with these questions, <laughs> but um, she is um, very um, submissive, you know, yeah. um, and in the sense, but you, you see the dynamic, and, and in my own personal life, I've been where, uh, you know, the, the husband's been the breadwinner, and then, you know, and then it flipped, you know, when because life happens, and then I was the breadwinner, and so I did have to tap into how I dealt with that at a, at a time, mm -hmm. you know, but I, I, um, I think still, even still, uh, we were able to bring different things to, to the character, okay. you know, so I was able to tap in that way, but I really, I love her character because her character is very, um, very controversial. I will very, say that. Very. And, and for, unfortunately in this day and age, it's, we see more of her character. Yeah. Yeah. Then you will see of my character, uh, yeah. you know. If I can, if I can do that, and I hope Joe is not gonna text me like Gwen. But, but really, it's 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 a beautiful thing to see, um, and and you, it is. It's gonna be a conversation piece it is. Wow. after leaving. It is. it is. So Nunu, tell us when does the show go on? Is mm -hmm. it one day? Is it two days? Two days. Mm -hmm. um, Joe, you wet. You know you should have did a whole weekend. <laughs> <laughs> he want him coming back. Girl. Yeah, yeah. coming back when he want to go <laughs> But it's uh, September 24th and the 25th, yes. and uh, showtime for the 24th is at 8 p.m. and the 25th, which is falls on a Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, 7 p.m. Yeah, at Great yep, Faith, at Ministry. Great Faith mm -hmm. Ministries. Wonderful, yes. yeah. wonderful. And where can we get tickets? Well, you can get them from us. <laughs> Absolutely. The cast. Yeah. Uh, or you can go on to soulful.net. Soulful mm -hmm. What is it? Yeah, soulful.net and order your tickets online. Yeah. Absolutely. You can also, uh, Joe Millionaire Smith, you can inbox him Absolutely. on Facebook. Absolutely. Yeah, and he's on all social media. Mm -hmm. uh, Instagram. Yep. Uh, I think mm -hmm. he's on Twitter. Uh, definitely Facebook. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Now, Gwen, tell everybody if they want to contact you, they want you to come sing, they yes. want you to be a part of a production, how can Absolutely. they get you? Uh, my thing is all things Gwen Nation. I'm on social media, but you can go to uh, Gwen Nation uh, at gmail.com if you want to do personal inquiries. Um, but you can always contact me in my inboxes on my social media. That's Twitter, uh, any social media that is, baby. Twitter, Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, uh, 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 Tumblr, everything. Now, go okay, ahead. Reverb now is it going to be really you they talking to? Or will it be you? You know what? Yes. You know how many people ask me that question? Yes. It wasn't until pe I, that's when I found out, baby, some of these artists don't run their pages. Right. And you and whisper that, sweet that's nothing. Very Listen that's here. Very you whisper sweet nothing. And huh? you come up to me expecting something. And I'm like, huh? No, <laughs> it, it really is me. I promise. It's me posting ah! every ah! picture. When? <laughs> me posting every picture, every single thing. Now, that doesn't mean I want sweet nothings in my inboxes from this. Uh? No. But no, yeah, it's me. It's me for legitimately. Like, Lulu, how can they get you? <laughs> Same thing. Everything. Lulu <laughs> Thurman. Excuse me. I'm so stuffy. But uh, N U N U T H U R M A N. That's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Yep. Uh, just everything. Every social media outlet is New New Thurman. Nothing has changed. All together. What's next for you, Gwen? Oh, I am working uh, with. <laughs> oh, ooh, that's yeah. when you know you're just so excited. <laughs> um, I actually have um, because I I, I do R and B music. Uh, and so I have a EP coming out. Right. Uh, it's called The Ballad of Debate. And y'all, I'm so excited because I wrote literally every word. I did That's all fun. the vocal arrangement. Wow. And um, I, I did it under it was a producer, super mega producer. He's worked with uh, Eminem and D12. His name is Denon Porter. And oh, he, yeah. oh, right, of course, he has that vocal yeah, yeah. Mr. Porter himself. <laughs> he's he, crazy. He did, he's insane. Yes. Right? He, did a, uh, he did a breakdown of some Robert Glasper music. And yeah. uh, so, and I, I heard it and instantly got expired. And so, I, I did an EP on it. And uh, yeah, it's good. And so, it'll be coming out soon. Awesome. Nice. <laughs> Nunu, what do you have coming up? Well, I am still acting. I'm, I've been I've been doing music production. So say I, that again. I've, I've definitely been doing music production. That's what where I've, I've fallen in love with. So um, outside of my acting, I'm just focusing more on that. Yeah, okay, so we can't it. expect any new music from you anytime soon? No, no, not right now. I'm, I'm really, as an artist, I've always struggled with finding my sound, and so that's, I'm in the process of doing that. So you're okay. creating sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's why the music production is really helping me. So no, I wouldn't say anytime soon. And of course, tell everybody where they can catch you on Hot. Oh yeah, um, you can catch me on Hot 107.5, giving you the celebrity gossip, mm -hmm. uh, Monday through Friday at 11, 12 in the morning. 
and Sundays with my big brother, Kamal Smith, um, at 6.40 p.m. So, yeah, on Hot 107.5. Perfect, perfect. Well, listen, we will be right back. Y'all keep it locked right here to WorldwideCoreRadio.com because when we got get back, we have a surprise for these two. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I wonder how can you do it? Oh, I can do it. We still use your phone.